sorry, I was trying to flip the camera. It turns the engine off and it even sounds bad for the engine when you go to turn it on and turn it off and it just overall doesn't sound great. Um, what else am I trying to show you guys here? Um, again, I apologize. I'm very new at doing this and I'm sure my husband's going to see this video and be like, yeah. Anywho, <laughs> moving on. Um, hey everybody. So we are back to the video that I did not get the chance to finish the other day. Um, this is probably like three days later. I apologize for that. So again, as I was saying, I did grab my keys. This is the door, the, you know, whole front. Nothing all that fancy and exciting. Just your atypical, like I was showing you guys earlier. Sorry that this is so... Okay, that's way better. I apologize for the close-up earlier. Um, okay, but no, I went to get my keys because I just wanted to show you. So this it has a start button here. This is a 2023, like I said, so it's obviously got all the modern technology and whatnot. You have your smart screen here. You can... Oh, gives you all this other nonsense notifications. Um, but you've got, you know, your trailer, your climate, your settings, your Wi-Fi hotspot, podcasts, Google News, which we don't use, um, your Apple CarPlay, Google Assistance, your maps. Um, my husband and I do keep a charger here. Um, there's actually, a, but as I had mentioned earlier in the video, there's the main, this type of charging port, and then this smaller one right here for like the newer chargers. You have up here your dash, uh, your driver memory, trip one, that was from earlier because I did have to run out today to do a couple of things. Uh, trip two and then timer just gives you, this is your whole menu. Um, yeah, your fuel, your engine hours, my DF fluid, and then that's just, that is that. And as um, I don't know if many of you know, which if you don't have this type of charger, I guess you wouldn't, but this is how this button rolls here. So that's how I was just operating that. Um, but yeah, it's just your, got all your typical functions. Your trailer modes are down here. This, uh, um, this button here, if you spin it left or right, will adjust up here. It goes normal, sport, and then off-road, my husband usually will adjust this when we take the trailer home or something like that. Um, but yeah, it's got all your functions. This I absolutely detest in any truck. I swear I will never ever have a truck that has this again. Some people may like this. I personally do not, nor does my husband. It's the automatic start-stop. I, as my husband has taught me recently, it is terrible for your engine. I always, as soon as I get in the truck, I wish I remember to shut the thing off because when I'm at a stop sign or a stoplight, whatever the case is, it just, um, super, super smoothly. The lights obviously turn on. You can't really see because it's daylight outside, but lights do turn on they turned off it has more power sources back here lighting uh it's got your chevy emblem back there um it has like i don't really consider these like cup holders but it's got a nice you know nice your atypical back and then it just closes nice and smoothly as for the back over here um, sorry that it's kind of a mess. I use this to go home with. Sorry, my finger's like in the camera. Uh, it's got your bench seat, but I mean, the seats do go up. So they both go up. Um, this one goes up and then, oh my goodness. It does, I promise, go down much smoother than that. I was just struggling clearly. Uh, now for this side, this literally does the same thing, goes up, and then that side, needless to say, went down a little bit smoother. Oh, and also, you have these two uh, charging ports back here. One is for the newer charging port, and then one is for the older uh, USB charging port. And then your typical cup holders and your vents. 
It also does have OnStar and Wi-Fi. No, we do not use the OnStar. Uh, here, you obviously have your passenger driver's seat. Oh, goodness. Um, sorry, I definitely need to clean this truck out and I'm just having it. You have like your console, all your things in there. Also has more charging ports. This truck, you guys, has a total of three charging ports and each of them are two charging ports. So it's only two, four, six, like six spots to charge your um, phone. Has glove compartment, has another secret compartment, one of which I actually didn't even know was here. And we're missing something that's actually supposed to be in here. So stand by for that one. Oh, never mind. I found it. Sorry, my easy pass does not go down there. Oh. Um, let me go grab the keys quick and I can turn her on fast since I have to leave anyway. And I can show you guys. Oh, let me show you guys the front of what the front of the truck looks like. Sorry this is so up close for whatever reason. I This is my first time actually making any kind of YouTube video, so bear with me if it's all over the place. This is what the front of her looks like. Um rims, tires, all the all the things, you know. But anyway, let me go grab the uh, Hey y'all, so I just figured I'd make a quick video on my 2023 Chevy Silverado. Uh, it is a Z71, if I'm saying that. Yeah, it's a Z71 Duramax. Um, it's black, as you can obviously tell. It's obviously new since it's a 2023. Um... It's been around for, I want to say, a month, maybe two months now, I believe. Um, it's got your um, got your steps that you can step up into. So, oh, it's got two cameras as well. Um, oh, the one time I don't have it unlocked, but this 